I swear. <laughs> Screw off. <laughs> and it's still not enough to beat me, because, you know, I'm, I have Chokanoos and I'm in god mode with the Chokanoos. Does anyone else have any money they want to donate to the cause? No? A couple of people have astronomy. I hope they, like, spend their resources going over there and not taking rifles. Make up you your mind. I have workers tied up here. I, I want to go one way or the other with this. And up there, Montezuma is sending some meaningless stuff. Well, again, I, it's not like this scares me. You know what? Let's just go take another city. And I can't because of the roads. Or can I? <laughs> Surprise. And that's not very well garrisoned. It doesn't even have castles, so again, easy pickup. Easy pickup. Ooh, once I cap him, I can get astronomy from him. You fool! Okay. Oh, there's the castle now. Of course. Luller troll. Well, let's just throw a couple of uh, dudes with cover at him. Yeah, that, uh... That collateral is really nasty. And so, we're gonna power through Castle City with some losses but considering that I'm killing nearly as much as I'm losing with you know tech parity you can imagine what getting these guys early would do okay guess that's fine and these guys can even make it back again that culture is nice sometimes <laughs> oh that's uh hey Hey, that's, uh, that's a little bit less cool. <laughs> Hello, Montezuma Stack. Fortunately for me, he doesn't have a lot of siege again, so... I'll have to make do. Oh, uh, don't tell me he's gonna stack up with Shaka's crap. No, apparently not. Excellent. Trying to get me worried here. He, what he will do is just pillage the crap out of me again. Ever the pleasant enemy. Well, now we're gonna have even more drill four guys on a hill. <laughs> oh, Montezuma has knights. Where are you getting horse? No, no. No. Obviously not. Wow, the knights are actually a bit more troublesome. And what I will do is I will whip out one pike. That should be good enough, because he only has the two knights, and they're not going to cause a lot of problems for one pike and hill longbows. Hill longbows probably the stronger option overall. Because that's, uh, that's pretty well 100% on its own. <laughs> Just about. Well, what do they get? They get 50% uh, from hills, yeah, and with multiple city garrisons, they're probably stronger than pikes now that I'm thinking about it. But only went on there defending their hill cities. Yeah, that just happened. That stack you just saw, that stack's not there anymore. That stack is gone. <laughs> Let's have a look. <laughs> Nothing. No kills. <laughs> Again. <laughs> lol, 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 lol. I'll come for you later. Go away. <laughs> I don't want to deal with knights right now. I know protective gets a bad rep, but the ability to do things like this in tough games, it's not so bad. You could do worse. <laughs> the casualties inflicted here are rather ridiculous. 
All right, Grocer's up in Beijing. I'm not even gonna have Beijing contribute to that. I just want to get to rifles more quickly. As good as Choco News are, they have nothing on the rifles. And I would not mind switching to just rifles full time. With a little bit of drafting to be had, too. Are you ever actually going to attack me there, Shaka? Ah, crap. And he went free religion. I have to give this to him or he's gonna kill me. <laughs> The problem if I do this, and this is one of those situations I really wish the game would let you check your happiness, but it doesn't. At least on the bright side, most of these cities have, um, what is it? They have a second religion, so the, the resolution's not going to last as long, but this is going to be really costly. Maybe I don't want to do it. But I have so many extra units that I could just uh, take advantage of right now. I'm going to defy it. Um. Jeez. I hate to lose the hammers, but whatever. <laughs> hate to lose the, the uh, possibility of just crushing somebody even more. Okay, that, that, I'll be healed up next turn, really, that, except for that one dude. Sometimes I hate the AP. Well, I always think the AP is bad for the game, but... It's besides the point. Never! Ouch. So how much, uh... Culture trolling do I need to become tolerable here? Not bad, just 20%. And most of these Choco News are actually quite uh, healthy, so we're going to take advantage by uh, snagging another city. Okay. And again, probably want to lead with these really well promoted ones. Don't worry, my rifles will be well promoted too. It doesn't friggin' matter. And cover will stop being useful after a while. So I might as well take advantage now. Yeah, it's just getting rid of this top defender can be really tough sometimes. Because look, everything else is just getting spanked by the collateral. Oh, I have shock. Well, I had winning odds there, but you know how this game is with that. Yay! <sighs> you know what? Pavilion's not bad. Also not bad is that I can now push up. And that's like with everything, too. Well, everything that's healthy. Because he can't really threaten that city any longer. And of course, Caesar. What did he, um. Oh my gosh, no! Come on, don't do this to me! <laughs> he doesn't like Mehmed! And he equally likes Joao and me, and he shares a longer border with Joao. Well, here's what we do. He has a little bit of money now. Could you spare this for a good friend? Please plot war on someone in the next 10 turns. <laughs> Anyone's fine. There we go. There's some nice promotions to be had on those Choco News now. I can open up with an 11 experience. I wonder, is Shaka ready to give up yet? No? No, not yet. It's so annoying, because it doesn't save the, uh, 
the butt kicking, like the memory of the butt kicking you handed them in the earlier fights. <laughs> so, like most, a lot of that like absolutely absurd kill to death ratio that I had is just not there. I guess he can say put. Yes, I referenced KDR again. When you have that nice of one in this game, it's just it makes you smile. Is anyone hurt? Do I need to heal here? It doesn't look like anyone's actually hurt. I guess because everyone who was hurt get like died completely. <laughs> oh well. And yeah, none of these cities on a hill. A lot of his production just uh, went up in flames too, which is very nice. This is hurting my rifle tech time. But a few more cities and I'll be able to um, hold off anyway. Well, you know you... <sighs> what? Oh, because he was capitulated. <laughs> like, why won't you talk to me? He's being a jackass, like usual. That's the only valid explanation when you're talking about Ragnar anyway. Uh, whatever, just take them along. They might prove themselves useful. Hopefully Shaka calls it quits. After I take Ulundi and Nobamba. Muskets? Oh, for God's sake. Really? Now that- and why- wait, why did my Chokono defend instead of my combat promoted maces? Well, let's hurry before he gets more of those. Does anyone actually, uh, have money? Of course, he won't talk to me. No one who I care about has money. I'm just going to rebuild the improvements again. <laughs> I'll probably get like a musket every turn too. I know my luck. Why? Why are they targeting... Oh, that's where he hit. Okay, that's a little... Wait, no. That's not where... I didn't have a Chocono there at all. He... I don't understand how he is attacking Chokonus when I have high combat. I mean, I guess it's a bug with the drill promotion line. The game quote-unquote thinks one defender is better than the other. But there's no way. There's no way that I have better odds defending with this Chokonu. Yeah. 92.3% odd. You cannot tell me that a combat 3 mace would do worse <laughs> when it's only one base strength lower. There's no way. Come on, game. That's bullcrap. Well, let's stop building Chokonus temporarily here, because they're not doing us justice. You can build an aqueduct. You need a lot of things. But we'll go with the market. <sighs> this city's good and everything, but uh, the ability to draft out of it will be the best once I can do so. This mass curators that like that right there, that's just I mean what am I supposed to do if he declares on me at pleased when he is like people he legit hates. I mean the, I guess the one thing I could do is force him into war with somebody. Okay, that's the plan. As soon as I can get into war with Montezuma, I'll bribe uh, JC along. <laughs> I'll sick him on Monty. And he attacks me with maces and catas. That's not a problem. Bombarding with my catapult's not really that useful, I don't think. I mean, it's not going to take a whole lot off. So we'll just go the... Collateral route. Yay! 
Yay! Time to inflict lots of collateral. And hope we can actually take the city. Looking pretty likely. Hey, can I, uh, yeah, can I start winning battles now, please? No, why not? Well, now. There we go. Yay. I don't think I'll be able to take that with uh, what I have left over. Well, that, what I have left over that still has moves anyway. You know what? Screw your musket. I'll build a road here so I can attack it. With an axe! Lol. Lol, you died. Okay. A little bit tense here, but uh, we are making headway. And perhaps just as usefully, I got some capture gold, so let's abuse it. Muskets came out for my swords and axes, huh? One, two. You know, let's just dump this pike in here because it's not going to help us a whole lot. And move up. I can't really take. Oh, I can't, I, why can't I take pinch? I have gunpowder, right? Maybe these guys can't learn it. Beefcake! That did like nothing. Don't tase me, bro. Um. <laughs> yes! Once again, the axe prevails! So pro. <laughs> These guys are basically just fodder to block. <laughs> if he wants to keep his units out there attacking, trying to take that back, I will just take Nobamba first and then turn on him and kill his units on the mainland. And uh, then I'll take peace regardless, because I don't want to get uh, peace, vassal, and alliance, permanent ally killed. So, um. Yeah, would you stop? Sakes. The world considers you a villain. Yeah. Well, maybe the world should fix itself. Yeah, okay. He uh, Instead of running back into Mob Nobamba, he did opt to attack me there. Which was kind of what I was hoping to have happen. You've fallen into my trap card. What? Is this enough? It's not on hills, right? <laughs> Cross my fingers and legs? No! Screw you, game. Screw you. Eh. No. No. Actually, can I beat this? Pretty likely. Do I dare try? No, I don't, because he, if he takes the city, he'll like magically generate a unit. I don't want that to happen, so I'm not even going to bother. What I might do is uh, masterfully beat with the axe. It's one of the best tactics in this game, so you always have to keep it... Uh, Keep it in your knowledge that you have the option to masterfully bait the enemy units. Because it is an advantage. And... Farm, because you know, we all love that. Man. Happiness problems blow. I had peace with Montezuma before uh, begging Julius Caesar, right? That is the sequence of events, hopefully. 
political power grows out of the barrel of a gun. Okay, so he did opt to attack me there. I'm just going to take uh, cover and kill it. Yeah, okay. He has three units left defending. I have five offensive units, but they're pretty damaged. Oh well, no, seven. So tense, so tense, and oh my god, nationalism is going to take forever! Why? But what I can do now is uh, start up on the rifles. Which isn't bad unto itself. And yes, you can help out with the rifles now. Oh, I was still building Chokanus here, huh? Not anymore. You probably need a good whipping, because everyone hates you. Okay. Alright, we've made progress. It's always nice. But <laughs> it's all gonna be for naught if I can't grab Nobamba. Alright. I don't think I can uh, afford another one of these, so come what may. Oh, he built two muskets. That's so retarded. So freaking retarded. I can't take that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to force him into peace anyway. Then I'll at least get something for it. Now, how bad are my happiness in my cities? pretty rough. I'm gonna just keep it the way it is. These guys can become rifles. Once I get nationalism, I'll upgrade them. And I'm gonna have a small window, probably. Probably. so annoying. I hate when the game does that. Do not make me zoom around the map after I press a button and then still count the order I gave to the unit that was currently selected at the time. That is a huge pet peeve of mine in this game and in Civ 5 and in Civ in general. It needs to stop. It needs to stop happening. It's just beyond retarded. The vote succeeds, you don't say. We didn't see that one coming at all, no sir. I love how we can get a musket per turn there too. It's delicious. Surely you must be joking, what? You can't possibly be pleased with uh, Joao now, right? How? Mutual military struggle. It, it just makes me nervous that he is so much masked up here. I mean, he's pleased with me, he's pleased with Joao. In theory, he should be declaring on Joao, who has rifles already. Perfect. Just freaking perfect. This game had notions of being a decent game, but oh no. Couldn't have that. So am I dead now? Sure, let's trade maps. Really? <laughs> Lincoln of all people gets over there. Good, maybe I'll get enough stuff to break free. It's kind of a pipe dream, but you know, whatever. Whatever, just build some roads. Build some roads, lumber mills, whatever. And uh, when does this Apostolic Palace anger wear off? I know the more religions you have, 
the faster it'll wear off. And do I have anything Lincoln wants? Gunpowder. Might not be enough to get nationalism. I'm gonna keep researching it. Maybe I can uh, pick that up. By trading in gunpowder. There's no harm in doing that now. What is this now? No. Yeah, why don't you go declare on Caesar? Freaking idiot. Be right up your alley. You're perfectly willing to slow me down by declaring on me. Notice how he's almost to rifles. He has lost so many units that that's kind of ridiculous. Honestly, that really pisses me off about this game sometimes. Alright, um, let's see. Oh, good. No more tap and anger. You don't have nationalism yet. Julius Caesar won't trade it to me. I'm pretty sure Montezuma will research rifles too, if he can. Because that's uh, typical for the warmongers to get the warmonger technologies. And it makes sense too, it's actually the smart thing to do. Which is not something you would normally associate with a computer. But it works in this case. Not a lot of rifles yet. There's only one way to get a lot of rifles though with uh, this kind of empire. Let's just hope I wasn't too slow. There's, this just looks so bad. There's not a lot of doubt who he's going to declare on when he does this. Good. You know you want to trade me. Yes! Alright. A man does not have himself killed for a half pence. Nationhood a day and theocracy a go. Speech. You must speak to the soul in order to electrify him. And we're just gonna slow tech towards steel now. But you know, things are gonna get very rifle spammy. Ah, back to automating them. This is getting to become annoying now. And yes, now you emphasize food rather than hammers, and you are drafting every turn for a long, long time. Oh man, a lot of my cities can't draft. They're too small. Well, that could be fixed, though. Here. Work some of these farms. Thank you. Oh, well, you can draft next turn. <laughs> you suck, Mehmed. No, I'm not trading that. I might need that very badly. That advantage. And I think I can draft in these Shaka cities because I culture trolled them a bit and I have more than 10% culture. Let's find out. Yep. It's almost a wash, which I use as the launching point, so whatever. And now that you've grown, can draft here too. Alright viewers, well, I'm going to continue this in the next part. Wish me luck because I'm going to need it. Give a like if you're enjoying this disaster. The me and team signing off.